Halloween Horror Nights has graced us with a whole week of announcements last week, coming from all original properties. So if you are out of the loop, we are here to recap everything that we haven't covered yet right now. So let's talk about it. You won't stand a chance. Welcome to the Horror Fiends, your number one destination for everything horror. Last week, Halloween Horror Nights dropped six original property houses that are coming to this year's HHN 33, two of which we've already covered, but we've not covered the previous four. So we're going to talk about that today. So without further ado, let's break it down. So the first house that's been announced that we haven't covered yet is Major Sweets Candy Factory. You've been invited to chaperone a field trip to a candy factory. The deadly delicious treats turn the kids into sugar-fueled fiends. So obviously we've been speculating this with all the spec maps that have come out with the lollipop and the wrapped candy and we've been super excited about it and it seems like we're getting what we talked about which would be a prequel to the Major Sweet Scare Zone. And I know all of us have made the jokes of Willy Wonka but here it is in the flesh. We have a Willy Wonka house just in the forms of Major Sweets. And the next house announcement is for Museum Deadly Exhibits. You decide to visit the new folklore museum exhibit, The Rotting Stone where an evil escapes from within, destroying everything in its path. Now I told you guys when we were talking about speculation maps and when this whole museum topic got brought up in the first place that we are getting a night at the museum house. So this is exactly what it seems like they're going with with this whole museum deadly exhibits. So if I don't see dum dum give me gum gum in this house, I'm going to riot. It's gonna to go to the bottom of my house list. So I'm talking to you Universal, I'm talking to you HHN, throw him in this house. <laughs> no, in all reality, I don't know what this house might entail inside of it. Maybe it'll be lore related. Maybe we'll get an exhibit of Fierce Lantern or something along those lines, or it'll be completely something different that we don't know about, you know, with Night in the Museum on our minds. It makes me think of, you know, just exhibits coming to life. But who knows at the end of the day what this house might actually have inside of it. And moving right along to the next house is one we were speculating for a while and honestly we knew at this point was coming to the event was monstros that was probably pronounced very bad i apologize in advance but with la merte as your guide you'll be begging for a pie dad from these three terrifying legends the halapucci la lechuza and el Cerbon. i don't know if i'm saying any of these correct i apologize in advance to my spanish speakers i suck at spanish but we did get this house back at halloween horror nights 2023 not orlando's version but in hollywood and everyone that had went through that house said it was a fantastic house the walkthroughs i have seen it of it have been fantastic as well so i'm very excited if we we're gonna get you know maybe a complete copy of the house over in orlando or if we're getting like a new iteration with the same kind of monsters and folklores inside of it either way i'm very excited for this house this is like almost at the top of my hype list this year as far as the originals go so i'm very excited to see what universal and hhn does with this one so the final house announcement that we haven't covered is triplets of terror you're invited to the barmy triplets birthday bash but beware they celebrate by recreating their family's murders prepare for a gory gathering so i think we were all caught a little off guard with this house announcement so for the most part this house wasn't really speculated by anyone or really on anyone's radar so we were all a little bit surprised when it was announced. So our assumption is it's kind of maybe Universal's take on a slasher house since it doesn't seem that we really have one this year yet. So with Slaughter Cinema 2 and Goblin's Feast also already announced that we have covered in previous videos on the channel, that gives us our six original houses coming to HHN 33 this year. Now we move on to the IPs, which have not been announced yet, the scare zones and the shows. So we are all waiting to see what Universal and HHN hatch next for the announcement season. But for now, I am very excited because we got already in May six announcements for HHN. Very excited about what this year could possibly end up being. So let us know down in the comments what you think about all these original houses being announced, what you think of what they are, what could be inside of them, and just your hype list in general for them. But until the next video, we will see you in the fog, and we will see you in the morgue. Oh.